gonna do a quick bit on a mail spongy, which I got just today in the mail, actually. Uh, it is the Razer Mail Spongy. Creative naming there, like that said, considering the other names there, this this is probably the one which makes the most sense so far. Uh, nothing against things like Kraken and stuff like that, they've got a theme, but, you know, at least when you hear Razer Mail Spongy, you know what the shit it is. Um, so what does that actually do for you? Basically, what it will do is it will sort of keep your mouse suspended over a certain um, kind of level so there's no uh, sort of drag on it. Um, to clarify that a bit further, what you may find is that with some uh, some gaming mice or even just mice in general, the cord will be too long and therefore you'll find that it'll sort of bunch up after a while or alternatively you'll overextend it and find that sometimes it will just sort of, uh, you won't be able to move around as easily, especially if it bunches up. It, it is such a minor problem, but when you play at a certain level or if you want to uh, have that level of response or that level of control over the mouse, it's not too bad actually. What it will do is it will basically hold the mouse at a certain point so no matter what there's always a certain amount of slack and it keeps it held up so it's not necessarily uh, scraping across the uh, desk there or anything like that um, and it has a bit of resistance so it's kind of like a spring which stands up and when you uh, move towards yourself like it will have that uh, slight resistance um, you know depending on how much slack you give it which Honestly, you should give it enough so that by the time it needs to pull down the bungee, the um, the mouse is already off the mouse mat. Uh, so, does it help? Does it make you actually better? In my opinion, no, but it's still good for removing stuff that will make you worse. Uh, what that means is that if you're playing a game like Counter-Strike or Battlefield or anything like that and you're having to do a lot of frantic mouse movements and it's bunched up and you yeah you know, that plays on your mind or it does actually result in you getting killed or anything like that uh, that that won't happen anymore it's uh, the best way I have of describing it is that when you get it set up to your liking that it will be like having a wireless gaming mouse with no input latency uh, so, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm liking that about it. It cost me $22 Australian, which, uh, I'm, I haven't checked out any US prices. No real point for me to do that, considering I'm in Australia. Uh, so I don't know if it's uh, cheaper overseas, but here it was $22. And, yeah, I bought a bunch of other stuff as well. So, postage was pretty much negligible at that point, but if I hadn't, it would be $22 to buy it from a PC case gear, for example, and then an extra, you know, $15 or so to have it mailed. That's standard postage, it takes once two days, which is fine. Um, so, I mean, this this has been expensive, um, as, as far as what it does goes. I mean... I, I am almost dead certain that if you're crafty enough, you could make one of these yourself um, for a lot less, but of course, you are missing out on the build quality, durability, that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm pretty certain there's a manufacturer's warranty to this, I'd be surprised if there isn't, um, especially considering it's something that would definitely be um, affected by fair wear and tear. But uh, yeah, so overall, uh, pretty big fan of what it does. It it's not a uh, in-your-face kind of difference, like say getting a new monitor or something like that, but um, what it does do is that it just removes one less hassle from your gaming life. So if you have $30 or so to spare, running out of gaming shit to buy, uh, you've already got the mouse you want, already got the keyboard you want, already got everything else that you're after, it's, it's not a bad purchase. Um, there are a couple of other brands on PC case gear, but um, honestly, I, I went with a trusted online supplier, um, and I went with the brand that I knew as well, which was uh, Razer, uh, and I'm not completely disappointed, but if you're having to budget your finances around this, um, if you are a little bit strapped for cash, then I 
think it may not be worth it yet unless you can find it for less than twenty dollars uh without postage then absolutely go for it um yeah that's that's pretty much it so this is uh another one of those whole impressions videos which i'm trying to get more of them out um if if there's anything you can recommend in the comments or anything like that please comment about it what do you like about it what are your own experiences with the male spongy anything let's just have a talk about this and see see what people think because uh so far i'm i'm not sad but i'm not completely blown away which means i i do like it all right thanks guys bye